Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Welcome to story time. In today's story time, we are talking all about spring. As we've been going through the season of spring here in Michigan, we've been talking about the changing weather, we've been talking about things that grow, and now I wanna talk about the season of spring and what those changes look like, and maybe a little bit about how summer is just around the corner and I have the perfect book to talk about that. It's called, Mama, Is It Summer Yet? Here we go, this is Mama, Is It Summer Yet? by Nikki McClure. Mama, is it summer yet? What do you guys think? As you look at this page, does it look like summer outside that window? Hmm, I don't know. What do we see in this picture? There are mittens drying on the radiator there. It looks like maybe there are some snowflakes taped to the window that someone has cut out. Are there any leaves on the trees? Hmm. Doesn't quite look like summer to me. Maybe it's the end of winter. Not yet, my little one, but the buds are swelling. Soon, new leaves will unfold. Oh, look at that. I think it is the end of winter and the beginning of spring. You can see the green buds starting on all of those trees. They're gonna start to grow leaves and flowers, but it's still a little cold out. He's still wearing his scarf and hat and mittens. Mama, is it summer yet? What do you guys think? Let's look at this picture. We're picking up some leaves on the ground. Mm, looks like it might be a little bit warmer, but I still see those mittens. Hmm. Not yet, my little one, but the squirrel is building her nest. Soon her babies will be born. That's something that happens in the springtime, isn't it? All of the animals come out and they start to have their babies. It's a great time to see lots of animals in the springtime. And it looks like the mama and the child in the picture are also outside. It might be a little nicer out. They're playing and making a fort outside. That sounds like a nice springtime activity. Mama, is it summer yet? Hmm, look at this picture. Things are starting to change. We have a watering can, and it looks like Mama's got some seeds there. Hmm, does this look like summer? Not yet, my little one, but the earth is soft. Soon the seeds will sprout and root. Oh, so this is definitely some springtime action going on. You can see the buds have grown into little leaves on the trees and some of the plants are starting to grow and that's when we start to plant our seeds, right? Is in the springtime. Mama, is it summer yet? Hmm, what do you guys think? I don't see those mittens anymore, but I don't know. I see rain boots, some flowers. Hmm, do you guys think it's summer in this picture? Not yet, my little one, but the ducklings are following their mothers. Soon they will grow big and bold. Oh, look at that still spring. We've got some ducklings and you can see all the ducklings coming out in the spring. But it looks like it's starting to get warmer, isn't it? They've put their gloves away for sure by now and now they can go out on the water and the little ducklings are swimming in the water. We're seeing some water plants. Oh, it would be lovely to go canoeing on a spring day like this. If you'd like to find out if summer actually does come at the end of this book, you can check it out from the library to read it all the way to the end. I will put a link so you can check this book out from the Chippewa River District Library um, in the description below this video. 
We've learned a little bit about what to look for in spring, and now I want to talk about two animals that you might see in the springtime. The first one is a snail that moves very slowly through your garden, and the second is a bee that might zip quickly through your garden, buzzing from flower to flower. To do this rhyme, we're first going to pretend to be the slow snail, and we're gonna crawl all the way down and touch our toes. And then we're gonna slowly crawl all the way back up, like that. Let's try it, ready? Slowly, slowly, very slowly goes the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden trail. Now we're going to pretend to be the bee and we're going to go quickly, quickly all over the place like this. Quickly, quickly, very quickly buzz the little bees. Quickly, quickly, very quickly on flowers and on trees. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Slowly, slowly, very slowly goes the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the garden trail. Quickly, quickly, very quickly go the little bees. Quickly, quickly, very quickly on flowers and on trees. Good job, friends. Today's word looks really interesting because we have two lowercase letters that go below our line here. And that's pretty unique, I think. I don't know that we've ever written a word in story time before we, where we had two letters that went below the line. So let's write it out and then we'll talk about what this word is. All right, let's start with the big capital letter here. It's a squiggly S. Here's our letter that goes below the line and then makes a circle. It's a P. Next we have R. I. N. And our final letter, G, S, P, R, I, N, G, spring, spring. Let's talk some more about some of the things you might see that help you to know it's springtime. And I have a song that will help you out. It goes like this. This morning in my garden, I saw a lovely thing. It was a lovely robin, and now I know it's spring. Hmm, what other things besides a robin would indicate to us that it is springtime? What about a daffodil? Have you seen any daffodils lately? Those bright yellow flowers that are popping out of the ground right now? Hmm, let's sing about daffodils. This morning in my garden I saw a lovely thing. It was a lovely daffodil. And now I know it's spring. What other things have you been seeing in your garden? Maybe you've been seeing some leaves on the trees. Maybe you've been seeing some winds blowing. Maybe you've been seeing a sunny sky. Let's sing the song this time, but you tell me what you're seeing. We're gonna leave that word blank so you can put in all of the different things that you've seen this spring. This morning in my garden, I saw a lovely thing. It was a lovely, and now I know it's spring. Thank you for sharing with me all of the things you have spotted this springtime. Well, friends, we have reached the end of our story time program for today. Oh man, and it's time to sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. 
see you next time.